hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you a halloween nail tutorial gel x nail so if you're new to my channel you should totally subscribe if you're not new thank you for coming back okay so let's get started okay so i'm currently up at like two o'clock in the morning and i can't sleep so i'm filming this voiceover but i'm making my nails rough i want to say i already prepped them i'm just filing them and i'm putting on the epre ph bonder which is the dehydrator okay so now i'm going to go in with the primer from a prey and i'm going to put a coat on all of my nails Okay, so now I'm going to be taking these Una Jella false nails. I got these off of Amazon. My storefront is in my bio if you want to get these. I have so many other nail products in that storefront that I use in these videos. So go check that out. The link is in the description. But I'm just sizing the nails. And they already come etched on the inside. But a prey, they said that you're supposed to like rub your primer around like roughly inside the nail. So I'm still doing that even though these nails are already pre-etched. So now I'm taking the Extend Gel and I had to refilm this because I forgot to put the base coat on. So I'm putting the base coat on with the Extend Gel on all of my nails. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting a coat of the Extend Gel inside of the nails and I'm going to do that little pull at the end so that it can adhere better. And I'm using this light that I got off of Amazon. I will be putting that in my storefront as well. And then I'm just slowly pressing it on my nail, making sure that it doesn't leak out the sides. And you have to really like be precise because it's hard. I did this one off camera because I think it fell off. But you're going to see what I'm doing on all these nails. I'm going to try my best to show it. And sorry about the lighting. It's not going to look like this the whole video. I was filming at night and my ring light was dimming out. But when I'm designing my nails, which is probably like the main important part of this video, to be honest, I did it that next morning and it's perfect lighting. Okay, so these are how my nails look. Um, of course, I did the other hand off camera, but now I'm just going to be filing the top of my nails, making it rough. Some people use a sanding bed, but I honestly didn't feel like hooking up my nail drill. So I'm just using this file, okay? So after this, I'm going to be taking this gel polish that I got off of Amazon. And y'all, this gel polish is from Gaoi. Well, first I'm going to put this base coat on, and then I'm going to put two coats of that gel polish on. 
so I'm gonna come back when I get to that gel polish because honestly that is a beautiful color it matches so perfectly with my nails Okay, I'm going to be taking this isopropyl alcohol. You're supposed to be using rubbing alcohol, but this still works the same, to be honest. But I'm just rubbing this top because, I, I don't know, I hate that sticky feeling. I know you're not supposed to do that with the Apre Extend Gel, but I didn't do it with that. I just do it with this base coat. But here goes the Gailey polish I was telling you about. I have this linked in my storefront. And y'all, look how perfect this matches with my nail. Like, it's the perfect nude for my nail. So, like, if you're, like, the same complexion as me and you have the same color nail beds y'all this 1301 gailey nail polish is like the perfect nude coat okay and i'm just going to put two coats of this on my nails and then i'm going to cure for 60 seconds Okay, you guys, the next morning in this video, as you can see, the lighting is better. You see what I mean? I'm taking this raw JSM polish I bought like two years ago, and I had to kind of shake it up a little bit, but it glows in the dark. I don't know if it still glows in the dark. I just like these colors because they are very bright, vibrant for Halloween. And I'm using this Born Pretty brush that they sent me. They are currently having a 20th anniversary sale, and I'm going to be putting all that information in my description box if you want to go check that out but I'm just like free handing this French nail I suck at doing French nail even though it's like my favorite nail design ever it takes forever I did try to do that beauty blender hack but it was not giving so I was like you know what let me just freehand this so that's what I'm doing which is why it probably took me like three or four hours to do these nails but I'm going in with the other side of the born pretty brush and I'm using acetone to clean up the edges Okay, you guys, so I'm going in with this purple Raw Jason powder, not powder, but gel liner. And this is very opaque. Well, is that the perfect word? I don't know. It's see through. Okay. And I have, I'm doing two coats on these, by the way, but this one is still kind of see through a little bit. It's kind of like a jelly nail. So um, I was hoping for like a more like darker purple, but I guess this is pretty. Yeah, this is still a pretty purple. It kind of has like a pink undertone to it or something. Kind of like a magenta or something. But 
um i'm still freehanding them and i'm doing two coats of these and i'm just gonna let this play um, i'm gonna be doing orange next and yeah just listen to this music over this painting of my nails Okay, now we're at the orange, and this is a very neon orange. Like, I, I had to shake this one up, too. <laughs> yeah, I bought these, like, two years ago, and I'm literally just not using them. I don't even think they glow in the dark anymore. But, yes, I'm freehanding this. Um, I'm going to be going in with a black next, and I got that color in PR. It's from Nail Wind, and... Uh, it's a very small bottle it says sample on it so i guess it's like a sampler kit but y'all i love that's a very pigmented black polish so yeah you see how tiny the bottles are like i was saying like yeah they're really cute but you know a little goes a long way to be honest so that'll probably last you a good little while okay or a long while but um this picture right here is kind of going in and out of focus but you can still kind of see how i'm doing this and like i said like honestly i do two coats but with this polish right here you don't really have to do two coats to be honest like look how pigmented one coat is but i still did two coats anyways i didn't really show the second coat because i was out of frame but yeah i think this one is my favorite nail because like i don't know i feel like this one is like more i don't know accenty i did like the most the best accents on this nail so yeah okay now to designs this is my other hand i want to say i did this hand the best and i did that hand my left hand and i'm not even left-handed so i don't know i think my right hand is my favorite hand which is crazy because my left is my non-dominant hand 
but right here i don't know what happened to that polish but it rippled up like i was just talking so much good stuff about that black polish just for it to ripple up but i didn't even do that on my other hand which is crazy maybe it was something i did but the ghost is kind of lumpy and bumpy chill. and i didn't want to fix it because i was getting tired of doing my nails it was already taking forever but i'm just drawing these little ghosts with the dotting tool and I'm just making a little eyes in the face with like a smaller dotting tool. It's like so many different sizes of dotting tools. But I'm doing that on both hand on well two fingers out of the five fingers, okay? And I'm just drawing these black stars, adding dots and whatnot. I got this inspiration off of Pinterest. They added pumpkins in theirs, and I did not feel like drawing no pumpkins chap. So I just did what I wanted to do freehand it and yeah, so I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let y'all see what I'm doing, show. And I'll be back at the end of the video.
Okay, so now I'm taking the Apray non-white top coat. And y'all, this top coat is amazing. Like, y'all, do y'all see that shine? Like, do y'all see that? I love that top coat. Like, that's my new favorite. I was using the IBD top coat when I smells like acrylic to get from Sally's job. But yes, I'm just top coating all of my nails. And then I'm going to be going in with my cuticle oil. You, do y'all see how bumpy that ghost is? Like, I hate that. I hate that. But that's still my favorite nail. But I'm going to be going in with the Moravon cuticle oil. And they give you, like, a lot of pins in that set. But, like, only, like, five of them work so i still have them linked down in my amazon storefront they're really good cuticle oils but like not all of them work so just be aware of that maybe i just got a bad batch but i can't use some of the pins because they do not work but they are all different scented and i i think this one is strawberry and y'all this one is my favorite because it smells so good but yes i'm just putting these all in my cuticles and rubbing them in off camera y'all this is the final look like look how pretty these nails are like the stars aren't that great but it doesn't matter because it still looks good like you could be the worst drawer in the whole wide world but if you do this design it will still look good you know what i'm saying so um i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more videos like this um this is a lifestyle channel nails vlogs fitness like i'm doing a lot of fitness videos soon and yeah so i hope you enjoy it my storefront is in my bio if you want to buy these products and i will see you in my next video guys bye